to Math Phonetics. In this video, we're going to learn about rounding off whole numbers. What does rounding off whole numbers mean? Rounding off whole numbers is the same as estimating numbers or getting their approximates. It may also mean getting a less precise version of it. For you to understand further, let's have an example. The Earth's highest mountain, which has an altitude of 8,849 meters, is Mount Everest. What is its approximate altitude? Some may say that Mount Everest has an approximate altitude of 9,000 meters. Others may give 8,800 meters or 8,850 meters. Each of these values may be considered as an approximate or an estimate of the altitude of Mount Everest. These values may be referred to as the rounded values. These rounded values have different levels of precision. 9,000 meters is the least precise approximate, while 8,850 meters is the most precise one because it's the nearest value to the exact altitude. In addition to this, 9,000 is the rounded value to the nearest thousands. 8,800 is the rounded value to the nearest hundreds. And 8,850 is the rounded value to the nearest tens. To have a better understanding of rounded values, let us relate it to rolling a ball on a hill. So, how do we do that? Given that 8,849 is to be rounded to the nearest thousands, 8,000 must be placed on the left end and 9,000 on the right end of the hill. On the peak of the hill is the middle number, which is 8,500. 8,849 is found somewhere in between 8,500 and 9,000. Letting the ball roll to reach 8,849 will definitely roll further till the end and reach 9,000. How about if we round 8,849 to the nearest hundreds? 8,800 will be placed on the left end and 8,900 on the right end. On the peak of the hill is the middle number, which is 8,850. This time, 8,849 is found right before 8,850. At this state, the ball rolls only up to 8,849 and will never reach the peak. With that, it will roll back and shall end at 8,800. Finally, let us round the same number to the nearest tens. 8,840 and 8,850 are the numbers placed on the two ends of the hill. Then 8,845 is the one in the middle. Our number to be rounded is found right before 8,850. Where do you think shall the ball end? Correct! It will definitely end at 8,850. This is because 8,849 is closer to 8,850. To sum it up, the rounded values of 8,849 meters are 9,000 meters, 8,800 meters, and 8,850 meters. This time, let's have the proper steps in rounding off whole numbers. Step 1. Know which number place you need to round to. Let's apply it with an example. Round 256,378 to the nearest hundreds. We mark the digit 3 since this number has to be rounded to the nearest hundreds. Step 2. Look at the number to the right of the digit and identified place. In our example, the number to the right of the hundreds place is 7. Step 3. Round up the number if the digit is 5 or more, or round down the number if the digit is less than 5. 
The digit 7 that is on the right of the hundreds place is more than 5. So, we have to round up the number. In rounding up the number, change all digits to the right of the hundreds place to zeros. Next, add 1 to the rounding place. So, 3 plus 1 is 4. Finally, copy the other digits on the left. Therefore, 256,400 is the rounded value to the nearest hundreds. Let's have another example. Round 842,136 to the nearest thousands. Applying step 1, Let's mark the digit 2 since this number has to be rounded to the nearest thousands. In step 2, the number to the right of the thousands place is 1. In step 3, the digit 1 that is on the right of the thousands place is less than 5. So, this time we have to round down the number. In rounding down the number, change all digits to the right to zeros. Then copy the digit of the rounding place. Finally, copy the other digits on the left. Therefore, 842,000 is the rounded value of the given number to the nearest thousands. Now let's practice what we've learned about rounding off whole numbers. Round the following numbers to the nearest underlying digits. The first number has to be rounded to the nearest tens place. The digit to the right of the rounding place is 8. Since it is more than 5, we have to round up the number. First, change 8 to 0, then add 1 to 4 which is the digit in the rounding place and copy the rest of the digits on the left. So the rounded value is 76,350. This time, the second number has to be rounded to the nearest hundreds place. The digit to the right of the rounding place is 2. Since it is less than 5, we have to round down the number. First, change the digits 2 and 3 on the right to zeros. Then copy 7 which is the digit in the rounding place as well as the rest of the digits on the left. So the rounded value is 21,700. In the last number, thousands is the identified rounding place. Since the digit on the right is exactly 5, we have to round up the number. Make all the three digits to the right to zeros. Then add 1 to the digit 9 to get 10. Since 10 is a 2-digit number, it's just 0 that we have to write in the answer. Then carry the other digit, which is 1 to the 8 on the left side of the rounding place. 8 plus 1 is 9. So our rounded value is 90,000. Good job, students! Now, let's make a recap of what you've learned today. Rounding off numbers is the same as estimating numbers or getting their approximates. The first step in rounding off whole numbers is to know which number place you need to round to. Second, look at the number to the right of the digit in the identified place. Third, round up the number if the digit is 5 or more or round down the number if the digit is less than 5. To round up if the digit to the right is 5 or more, first, change all the digits to the right of the identified rounding place to zeros. Next, add 1 to the rounding place. And, copy the other digits on the left. To round down if the digit to the right is less than 5, first, change all the digits to the right of the identified rounding place to zeros. Next, copy the digit in the rounding place. Finally, copy the other digits on the left. 
That's all for rounding off whole numbers. Hope you've learned a lot from this video. Kindly share with your friends. Hit the bell icon to keep you updated. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching Math Fanatics.